Isama na si mama, si papa, si ate at si kuya From 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning And from 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon Listen and watch The School on the Air program Brought to you by the school's division office Masbati City Only here are the best 98.3 Spirit FM and Facebook Live A School on the Air program features lessons from kindergarten to grade 12 as well as alternative learning system or ALS with our city deputy teacher broadcasters maski may pandemya batang syudadanong mas batenyo ang pag-adal derretso I am inviting you all to listen and watch our live streaming of virtual learning through the School on the Air program we brought to you by City Schools Division Office of Masbari City. Again, calling the attention of all English and learners, I am inviting you all to listen and watch our live streaming of virtual learning through the School on the Air program we brought to you by the Masbari City Schools Division Office. Thank you. Greetings of peace and prosperity to the City Division key officials, parents, and guardians who guide our students all the way. Good afternoon. I know it's been a tough year for all of us, but hey, how's life now? For sure, you are still doing great, and I hope everyone is safe and sound. Today, I am glad to serve you through this School on the Air program brought to you by the school's division office of Masbate City. Amidst this pandemic, it is still our utmost concern to guide you in your learning in whatever platform that makes it possible. Now learners and parents, remember this. Please observe the health protocols. Do not forget to always wash your hands, use alcohol, and wear face masks. Safety should be our priority. This is a school on the air of SDO Masbada City, only here at 98.3 Spirit FM. Sama sama together, always and forever. Welcome to another learning adventure. This is Neil Cervantes Franco from Masbate National Comprehensive High School. And I will be your teacher and guide as we will learn another fruitful English then lesson. And with me in this learning adventure is my advisory class, my great and idianale. These students will serve as our active participants through an online platform. Good day, idianale. Greetings, English then learners. You are still tuning in to School on the Air program brought to you by the school's division office of Masbate City. Batang Suradanong Masbatenyo, ang pag-adal diretso. Only here at 98.3 is Spirit FM. Sama-sama together, learning is always and forever. English and learners, before we indulge into our exciting activities and discussions, let us have first a prayer.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, we open our hearts and mind today for your grace of knowledge and wisdom. Guide us as we go through our discussion and activities in order for us to appreciate our learning. Thank you for your protection and guidance. We fervently ask you, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Fasten your seatbelts, for we are about to discover another fruitful lesson. Prepare yourselves, your pen, and answer sheets. Hey, Pigan! Alam mo na ba kung anong dapat gawin upang iwasan at subuin ang COVID-19? Ang COVID ay isang nakakahawang sakit na dulot ng bagong virus. Sumasama ito sa talsik ng laway kapag nagsalita, bumahing o umubo ang tao may COVID-19. Kapag ang droplets na ito ay naiwan sa mga madalas hawakan na bagay, maaari itong pumasok sa ating bibig, ilong o mata. Maaari tayong mahawa rito. Wala pang bakuna o gamot dito, kaya mahalagang maiwasan ito. Paano? Ganito. Iwasang hawakan ng bibig, mata at ilong. Laging magugas ng kamay gamit ang sabon at tubig sa loob ng dalawampung segundo at tuyuin gamit ang malinis na tisyo o tuwalya. Linisin ang mga bagay na palaging hinahawakan tulad ng mga doorknob at switch ng ilaw. Kumain ng balanse at masusustansyang pagkain. Matulog ng sapat pag magpupuyat. Stay home! Pero kung kailangang lumabas, magsuot ng face mask. Siguruhing isang metro ang layo sa ibang tao at magdala lagi ng alkohol o hand sanitizer. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. You are still with your favorite radio broadcaster teacher, Sir Franco. Today, I will be showing words or phrases, and all you have to do is to determine the thing that connects them. This activity is entitled, Connecting. Now, are you now ready? Graden, learners, specifically Graden in the Anale. This is the first. Determine the thing that connects this. An island to an island. And yes, according to Mr. Jonas from Great Anidianale, the thing that connects an island to an island is the bridge. Thank you so much. You're correct. How about the second? What connects phone to socket? Yes, according to Miss Jaika, it's charger. Very good. How about this one? What connects far away friends? And yes, according to Miss April, technology indeed. Technology connects far away friends. How about this one? What connects human to Almighty God? According to April, of course, prayer and faith in God. So indeed, connection is essential in our lives as we are all social beings. As the old cliche says, no man is an island. No man stands alone. We need everyone in each other. But what if the world lost its connection? What will happen? What if the world lost its connection? Yes, Ms. Ira May? According to Ms. Ira, very good distraction indeed. If the world lost its connection, there will be distraction. Yes, another learner again from Great Anidianale. 
says it forms division. Very good. What will happen if the world lost its connection? And this is the saddest part. There will be chaos. Indeed, social connection is essential. It is very important because in today's age, we live busy lives trying to strike a balance between work, school, hobbies, self-care, and more. And often, our social connections fall by the wayside. But connecting with others is more important than you might think. So English and learners, what could be the benefit of social connection? According to Ms. Althea, it lowers anxiety and depression. Very good! Of course, it helps us regulate our emotions. It leads to higher self-esteem and empathy. And actually improve our immune systems. By neglecting our need to connect, we put our health at risk. So in the context of English grammar, connectors are an important tool for writing proficiently in English. Using connectors will help ensure that the meaning of your sentences is clear so that readers will understand. And these connectors are called conjunctions. Ladies and gentlemen, our lesson for today is all about Conjunction. Great and learners, who among you here have the knowledge about conjunction? But before that, all of you are expected to define conjunction, identify the types of conjunction, and compose sentences using conjunctions. So are you all ready now for another fruitful lesson adventure? This is all about conjunction. So what is conjunction? Grade 10 learners, English 10 learners. So according to Amulet, very good. Conjunction in its simplest term is connectors. Conjunctions are known as connective or linking words. They join thoughts, actions, ideas, as well as clauses and phrases. Since they serve such an important role, it may not come as a surprise that there are three distinct types of conjunction used in sentences. And these are coordinating, subordinating, and correlative conjunctions. Each of these Three different types of conjunction joins different parts of a sentence together. So let's dig deeper in understanding the first conjunction. And this is coordinating conjunction. So based on the, on the given definition, coordinating conjunction link equal parts of a sentence, be it words, phrases, or independent clauses. So these are the common coordinating conjunctions. We call them fanboys. F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, and so st S stands for so. So what is the purpose of conjunction for? So, it indicates reason or cause. For example, I will not be attending the dance for I have no one to go with. So, in this example, it indicates reason or cause. 
Let's ask now the purpose of n. The function of n joins two ideas. In simplest term, it adds. So let's have an example here. I plan to stay home and I will complete an essay for class. So as you have noticed, we have two clauses and it joins two ideas. The next one, conjunction nor. When do we use nor or what is the purpose of nor? So nor indicates a negative. Example, Jesse isn't going to be at dance, nor will Tom be there. So it indicates negative. Both of this person will not attend the dance. Let's proceed the conjunction but. But indicates a contrast. Example, the fundraisers are hoping for a record-breaking attendance, but I don't think man people are going. Many people are going. Yes, it indicates a contrast. Let's have the purpose of or. It offers an alternative. Let's have the example. I might go to the next fundraising event or I might donate some to the cause. So in this case, it offers an alternative. Let's have the coordinating conjunction yet. So yet indicates a reason. Example, my parents are worried that I am antisocial, yet I have many friends at school. In this example, it indicates a reason. And the last coordinating conjunction is so. So indicates a result. Example, buying a new dress ex is expensive. So by staying home, I will save money. In this scenario, so indicates a result. Let's proceed with the second type of conjunction, and this is subordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunction link a dependent clause to an independent clause, helping to show the relationship between two clauses and emphasize the main idea of a freestanding or independent clause. So the keyword here, the keywords here are one independent clause and one independent clause. We know that dependent clause is a clause that cannot stand alone, while independent clause is a clause that can stand alone. Let's have the examples of subordinating conjunctions. We have after, although, as, as if, as long as, as much as, as soon as, as though, because, before, even if, even though, how, if, inasmuch as, in order that, lest, now that, provided, since, so that, then, that, though, till, unless, until, when, whenever, where, wherever, and while. So these are just some of the commonly used subordinating conjunctions. So let's see its functions. So when we're talking about also, furthermore, moreover, and besides, it functions as an addition. So we have here example. Alicia was late for class and stuck in traffic. Furthermore, her show heel had broken and she had forgotten her lunch. So what is the subordinating conjunction used? Very good. Furthermore. Furthermore functions as an addition. Very good. So we have here 
another subordinating conjunction in its function. We have similarly, likewise, it functions as comparison. We have here example. Recycling aluminum cans is beneficial to the environment. Similarly, reusing plastic bags and switching off lights reduces waste. In this scenario, similarly is used as the connection. And this is a subordinating conjunction which functions as comparison. Another, we have instead, however, conversely, which functions as to show contrast. For example, most people do not, work, do not walk to work. Instead, they drive or take the train. So in this example, it shows contrast. Let's have now the third type of conjunction, which is the correlative conjunction. So correlative conjunction work in pairs to join together words or phrases that have equal importance within a sentence. Remember this, your keyword here is work in pairs. So these are the commonly used correlative conjunctions. We have both and and, not only but also, just us, as much as, if then, what with, neither nor, whether or, as as, either or, so as, the the, no sooner than, hardly when, such that, rather than, discardly when, and so that. Let's have the example. The first example says, you can have either chocolate or vanilla ice cream. So what is the correlative conjunction used? Very good. Either or. Second ex example, he not only plays the guitar, but also the drums. What is the correlative conjunction used? So according to Mr. Palacio, not only, but also. And the third example, such was his strength that he was easily able to move the following three. So what is the correlative conjunction used? Such that, indeed, very good. So let's have the brain training. So in this activity, we call it the conjunction box. So I have here nine boxes and it has three different colors. Green signifies simple, which has 10 points. Yellow stands for medium, which has 20 points. And red has 30 points, which means a difficult question. So let's ask one of our students. Yes, Miss Bianca Marie. Bianca Marie chooses COD10. So let's see what is COD10. Okay. So this is the question. All you have to do is to supply the correct coordinating conjunction. Do you like chocolate? Blank vanilla. Ice cream better. What's your answer? Miss Bianca Marie. Okay, the correct answer according to Miss Bianca Marie is or correct. Very good. Let's have now Mr. Palacio. Okay. According to Mr. Palacio, COD20. Wow. Let's see. COD20. Wow. So, Mr. Palacio, all you have to do is to supply the correct coordinating conjunction. I was on time. Blank. Everyone else was late. 
What could be the correct answer? The answer of Mr. Palacio is but let's see if he gets the correct answer. Wow! Very good! Wow! Another student. Miss Sarah. Let's see the core at 10. C O R at 10. So, Miss Sarah, all you have to do is to supply the correct correlative conjunction. And you will be given 10 points for this. Blank flowers, blank trees grow during warm weather. What's your answer? According to Miss Sarah, her answer is both flowers and trees grow during warm weather. Let's see if she gets the correct answer. Indeed, she's right. Correct. Let's see. Okay, let's have Miss Jaika. Miss Jaika, please select. We're done with the COD 10, COR 10, COD 20. Miss Jaika. According to Miss Jaika, sub at 20. And this is 20 points. Miss Jaika, all you have to do is to supply the correct subordinating conjunction. So this is the sentence. The musicians delivered a rousing performance. Blank, they had rehearsed often. What's your answer? What's your answer? According to Miss Jaika, ass. Oh, very good. That's right. That's 20 points. Another one. Another volunteer, Miss Jaika. COD 30. Let's see. Okay, correlative conjunction. All you have to do is to supply the correct correlative conjunction. What's your answer? Savory flavors are blank sweet, blank sour. What's your answer? Very good. Neither sweet nor sour. That's 30 points. Very good. Let's have CUR20. Blank, do we enjoy summer vacation? Blank, we blank enjoy winter break. All you have to do is to supply the correct correlative conjunction for 20 points. What could be the correct answer? According to Ms. Amulet, the correct answer is not only but also. Let's see. Not only do we enjoy summer vacation, but we also enjoy winter. Very good. Let's see. COD 30. This is for 30 points. Our trip to the museum was interesting. Blank. There were several new artifacts on display. What is the correct answer? You are going to supply the correct coordinating conjunction for 30 points. According to Ms. Jaika, the answer is 4. Wow! Our trip to the museum was interesting. 4 
there were several new ar artifacts on display. Very good. That ends our activity for this day. And you are still tuning in to School on the Air program of SDO Masbada City. Batang sudanan ng masbatenyo, maski may pandemya, ang pag-adal diretso. Only here at 98.3 is Spirit FM. Sama-sama together, learning is always and forever. And for your final task, English and learners, each one of you is tasked to compose a three to five sentences with the use of conjunctions properly and correctly, based on your forte and strength. You may write an essay, a poem, a rap, or a song, and all connectors must be underlined before submission. You may also choose from one of these topics. But before that, let's have COVID-19 pandemic in the Philippines. As of March 15, 2021, there were 626,893 total cases of COVID-19. So the topic may focus on coping up with new, nor new normal, COVID-19 prevention, modular distance learning, COVID-19 vaccination. Again, you are tasked to write a poem, a rap, an essay or a song with the use of connectors or conjunctions and you are going to underline all conjunctions used before submission and these are just some of the following topics that you may use coping up with you with the new normal COVID-19 prevention modular distance learning COVID-19 vaccination this could be your forte you can use or you can be the, your Shakespeare, your Edgar Allan Poe, your Eminem, or your Celine Dion. Again, writing an essay, writing a poetry, a rap, a song. So these are the rubrics. Focus and details for 30%, use of conjunctions 30%, organization 25%, sentence, structure, Grammar, Mechanics, and Spelling, 15%. A total of 100%. The main job is to link to the together different sentences, parts, and help writers highlight or connect specific actions or ideas. This is the tip to improve your language. All you have to do is use them to form more interesting or complex sentences and make your paper flow more smoothly to attract readers' attention instantly. So now, all you have to do is practice, practice, and practice. Read as much as you can to start improving your grasp on the proper flow of language using conjunction. Again, English and learners, congratulations! You have surpassed all the learning challenges. Great job! Yahoo! 
See you soon on our next learning adventure. This is Sir Neil Cervantes Franco from Masbate National Comprehensive High School saying, Stay safe, stay healthy, stay educated. This is a school on the air of SDO Masbate City. Mas may pandemia, batang sudadanong mas batenyo, ang pag-aadal diretso! Yeah!